Huh? Yup. Hey guys, it's Kraus. Welcome back, everybody, to a new Minecraft Let's Build. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you guys do enjoy this, make sure you leave a like on this video. And if you do so, spank you <laughs> very, very, very much. So, ladies and gentlemen, in the previous episode, we did the model house behind me. And for those who want to build that, there's going to be a link for that in the description. But for those who did watch the video and did build it, thank you so much for the fantastic support and feedback. You guys are pretty darn amazing i would say so thank you so much and uh, in today's episode we're going to be building something really simple like some episodes are going to be like super complex stuff some is going to be more advanced and some are just going to be like super easy houses uh, so yeah it's going to be a link for that house in the description we're also going to have a link for this house which is like a simple starter house and also for this beautiful little modern house which we have over here so do check the description if you guys want to build them but um let's get uh, let's get crafting in today's build, we're going to be using smooth quartz, uh, blocks, and stairs. And people in Kralz, why don't you just use the concrete? You know what? I would. However, there's no slabs nor stairs. Uh, one day, hopefully, we'll add them and then we switch, right? But until that happens, let's just go for this. We're also going to be using a cha cha planks, slabs, and trapdoors, window penises, and a little bit of the red sandstone. We're going to be playing this on the default texture pack, and the shader pack I'm using is called Silver's Vibrant Shaders version 1.18 High. Dot zip. So, uh, no time to waste. And it goes something like this. 3, 2, 1, and poop it down. <laughs> Don't ask me why. So using the smooth chords, we're going to be placing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And this is going to be the front of the house. You might be, where's the front entrance? Don't worry, we're going to cover that out later on, I guess. Then from the side, counting with this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And then pretty much just uh, meet up with the corner over here and turn that around. So it is a 9 this way, and it's 10 this way then let's just jump in on uh, on the other side over here let's count from this back wall over here let's do one two three and on the fourth one let's get a little uh, division or divider up like this then go over to the corner again and count one two and on the third one a wall remove this remove that ladies and gentlemen a toilet ladies and gentlemen a bedroom and kitchen slash living room i guess and also front door let's just go maybe even like this bam so from above you should be having this shape now and then no and then count from this corner over here do one two and the third one put a smooth course this is going to be a little pillar for our front porch roof and whatnot then go one two three and on the fourth one do one more like so and on the inside grab you a chasha planks and uh, pretty much just fill in all the space uh well, you know what? Let's not. Let's maybe use course for the toilet. Uh, chisel course, obviously, because, you know, chisel course is kind of a perfect fit for toilet uh, floors, right? Maybe there's something better now. I have no idea. But that's going to be chiseled course and the rest of the house. Let's get the cha cha planks in. Scary, hairy lady. You should be having this shape now. And here in the front door, in the little entrance, let's remove the grass and let's get a smooth uh, red sandstone in here. Perfect. The next step is to rise all the course blocks which we see over here by three blocks. So one, two, and three. And let's do that all over the place. Don't worry about windows, we're gonna carve them out later on. For the moment, let's just rise it up so it becomes four, counting from the grass. One, two, three, and four. And Kawabanga! So we are having this shape. Now it's time to carve out some windows and whatnot, but first let's just jump on the inside. Let's grab some uh, upside down smooth course stairs and place one on this side, one on that side. Let's do one here in the front entrance. And above that, let's just get some smooth course uh, blocks placed in the gaps. Like this, also using the smooth course stairs, let's get uh, on the top elevation over here, on the top block, let's get them upside down, place one, two, and three. Un and dos and uno más, un and dos from this side. One and two. So from above, we are having this shape. Now, let's just think about the windows. Let's jump over here. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, and six to the door. So let's uh, jump away two blocks from the uh, side of the wall. And let's get a window which is two by two. Let's maybe do the same on this side because we know that this, this room is four in width. 
So jump away two blocks from the from the side of the wall or the corner, and one and two. Perfect. And toilet. Hmm, do we really mind uh, people seeing us? It's Minecraft, but let's do maybe just one over here. A uh, bedroom, what we could do in the bedroom here, we can pretty much mirror the, the front window to the back. So jump away two tiles or two blocks from the corner. And on the third one, let's do a two by two window like this. And maybe even one on this side on the back wall, because why not? And I guess that is going to be all the windows we need. So we have uh, two by two, two by two, one, two by two, and one on this side. Instead of that, let's get some window pieces put in and um, that should do it also what we're going to be using is the trap doors to make nice little like what you're going to call it uh, window shutters and whatnot so let's grab the achasha trap door and here i'm going to actually place because placing it over here would maybe look a little bit silly because it's kind of like just in that shape so let's place it from above here and from up, uh, from below there which means we have this little nice shape here in the middle and now what we could do is just have something like a saw. You might be curious, what is going on? This is kind of like semi-open a little bit. Just for decoration and detail. And over here, let's get one from the top elevation, one from the bottom. And I guess we can just go on the sides over here. A bathroom? Yeah, why not? Could close that if wanted, but let's have it, have it opened. From the top elevation, from the bottom one, and close it. Like a, like a saw. That should pretty much do it. It's going to be very, very simple. Next up is grab some achacha slabs and we're going to put an interior ceiling, all right? So on the top elevation, on the fourth block, let's fill in all the gaps we see on the house, even here outside in the, what are you going to call it, on the low, like porch roof and whatnot. <laughs> And then, no and then, let's grab some smooth cords and let's move to the back. Here we're going to be doing something like this. Let's count from this corner. One, two, and on the third one, place one, two, three, four, and five. That leaves us two blocks on this side and two blocks on that side. And then let's just do one here in the middle. Un. And let's do the same on this side. So one, two, and on the third one, let's do one, two, three, four, and five. And one on the top over here in the middle. Then let's just do from the last block here, one, two, and three. And that is about it. From the top, it looks like this, but I guess it's gonna be easier to see this from the back. Something like this. Next step is to get the roof in place, and this might be a little bit tricky, but I hopefully I can do this as easy as possible. So grab your achacha slabs and do something like this, just about the window. Let's get a slab on the top elevation by one, two, three, and four. So it kind of sticks out one block from the main structure. And let's do the same on this side. So it sticks out by one, and this is going to be going all across to the back. Like a so. Let's do the same on this side. So it sticks out by one block and goes all the way across. And sticks out. Yes, you guessed it by one block like that and then let's do the front uh, roof or front porch to begin with this might be a little bit tricky but uh, bear with me all right so do slabs one two three and four and then one from the bottom next layer is going to be full blocks of uh, achacha planks like this next slabs like this from the top and one from uh, below next up is full blocks of achacha planks like this next one slabs one two three and four and one from below like that so that is the main shape it is super simple right but uh, that's the main shape of the roof and then we're just going to take out this shape all the way to the back over here so let's grab those uh, full blocks and let's take them out like this and one block out from the from the structure then get the slabs so a whole row from above and then on the end here just one from below like this and i'm not really sure how the mechanics work with like bats spawning but you might want to light up this little like um, attic place otherwise there might be bats spawning in survival but let's go over here so what did we do we had this over here which is this one and then we had one layer of slabs from the top so one and two and then one from below like this next we had full planks so let's get those full planks in bam next one yes slabs from the top and one from the bottom then full planks and this pretty much just uh, keeps going it is uh, it is quite simple so next would be slabs next is going to be full blocks and that also means that this should meet up with this roof very nicely as you can see here that shape goes up and continues down might look a little bit silly over here when, the, when there's a full block but uh, am i bothered 
No, not really. And now it's pretty much just taking this shape all the way across to the back of the house like this. And ladies and gentlemen, the main house is pretty much completed. However, let me just get some ideas for you. What we could do, we know there's a little middle piece here by two blocks, right, in this room. So what we could do is get a little chimney up, because why not? So let's remove this. Let's just get rid of this for the moment. And let's maybe use some uh, cut redstone. So let me just place those like that. And then from the back, let's do cut redstone, maybe smooth, cut, and then maybe upside down stairs. How are we looking? Quite a shabby, kind of shabby, but I keep it. Then let's do some cuts uh, like this and maybe two layers of the smooth one. Yeah, it's very orangey, this, this house of ours. Uh, a little bit Dutch even, but uh, I like it. There's gonna be a little thingy for, uh, for, the, for the smoke to come up. The imaginary smoke, all right? Even though I think there's campfires in the game now, right? So on the inside, yeah, no, let's not do much besides maybe get some furnaces in for the moment, uh, cause why not? Let's get a furnace here and here, and then let's get some shapes in like this. Yeah, that's kind of simple, but I keep it. And also let's maybe get some doors, a chacha doors, and let's get one from this. It's gonna be a little bit of a hazard sing in. So in case anybody, any peeping toms are inside of the house, there's gonna be really bad, especially in toilet space, but uh, it's Minecraft, all right? Nobody wants to see your bits anyhow, they're square. And maybe one here like this. Are we happy with this? Pretty much are, but um, let's get a little bit of bits and pieces in as well, just to get some detail and decorations. so you guys get some ideas. You know what, let's continue with this orange theme. So let's get some uh, red sandstone and let's count from the wall. One, two, three, four, and five. Ooh, scary, scary, lady. And uh, let's do all the perimeter. We can, we can maybe tweak this. This is mainly just so you guys get some inspiration and ideas for, for your own builds and whatnot. If you, if you decide to build this, and if you do, if you do build something similar or tweak it or whatnot, please do tweet me some pictures. There's gonna be a link for my Twitter in the description below this video. Okay, you might be thinking, Kralis, what is going on? Don't worry. Then we get some uh, red sandstone walls and let's get this all the way around like a so to that pillar about. By the way, lantern. Can I place a lantern on this? No can do. Can I do it here? Okay. So two beautiful lanterns just hanging down like a so. I take it. And I was thinking, I'm gonna have a little scaffolding here. You might think, why? Why? That's gonna ask a little table. So we're gonna have an achicha slab and on that we're gonna hang a little banner. Boom. It's beautiful. Oh, by the way, isn't Podsol? That has a little bit of orange vibes to it as well, right? So let's maybe get a little bit of Podsol, uh, orange, oh yeah, tulips. I guess that is not too shabby. It is something, all right. And let's move on to this side. So what do we want to do? Let's get this tweaked. Hey, you know, we could have, let's maybe have, uh, let's see, let's get this path going. Let's maybe have some acacia trees here. And then let's see here. We could have an uh, acacia wood fence gates. One over here, or one over here. And I guess we could just pretty much close that off over here. Or maybe have this over here and then like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then let's just continue with this gate or this uh, wall all the way around here. Bam, a little like path, because why not? And what we could do here is a little farmland for ourselves. So let's maybe have two other sources just in the middle. So there's two blocks on this side, two blocks on that side. That's perfect. And uh, I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. So just bear with me, all right? So we're gonna have some water and then we need a hoe. Let's get a, a diamond hoe and uh, hoe it up, I guess. Something like this. Ladies and gentlemen, it is taking shape. So we have a little bit of farmland over here. And uh, also what we could do, do we have any fence pieces? I don't think we do. Let's get a little fence over here. Acacia fence and um, let's get this guy over here. And on top of that, I'm not sure I can do this by the way, but hopefully you can place a lantern, can you? Yes, indeed you can. Amazing. And then get the acacia up here somewhere about. Oh yes, <laughs> not yet, but we'll see. Okay, that is much better. That is a nice shape if I've seen one. And also grabbing some of the leaves, let's maybe bushify this area a little bit. Let's get one, two, three. Let's let's just get a little bit of shapes and whatnot going. Maybe not that. That's kind of a little bit silly. 
Ladies and gentlemen, like, it's it's very simple, but you get the drift of here, right? I mean, it still looks pretty darn cozy. Oops. And instead of this, by the way, instead of all this um, this orange uh, sandstone, you can maybe use the tav blocks even. It is so simple. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna overdo it. But obviously we could place some more stuff in the back, uh, back areas, more farms all over the place. It is simple, but uh, yet again, it is, um, I don't know, it just works, right? I think it works, so let's just get it on the inside. Let's close this. Bam! Okay, I kind of don't like that shape, not that it matters that much. You can take it out by a little thing, like a range hoof or something, or hood. Little bedroom. Oh, orange bed. <laughs> I'm not going to place it. Orange toilet. There's a thing. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Kiralis. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. It is a very, very simple house. Uh, nothing spectacular about it, but uh, it kind of fits nicely on a savanna. Or maybe it doesn't. Who knows? Maybe having the acacia wood instead, like the, the logs would be much better fit. I don't care. Thank you so, so much for watching. I am Kiralis. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Do hit the like button if you guys did enjoy. Look into my eyes, nothing but my eyes. And um, have a very, very nice day. Kiralis over and out. Enjoy your new house. Bye bye.